Hi, welcome back to my channel, Linda Tom and Craft Along. Today we're going to open up, unbox the Brutus Monroe Saltwater Taffy May 2020 Inspiration Box. How fun! Reminds me of the Jersey Shore or something. Or that movie Beaches. So I have a couple items in here, like the sand paste that I ordered separately. And the acrylic bubbles, those I got separately also, and they're little bubbles. I just thought with the boardwalk theme, I would add some ocean elements to my projects. And then the sand paste to give it like that actual beach sand or lake sand. And then I've got some hyper pigment here in copper, which I've wanted because I want to use it for my steampunk stamp set by Brutus Monroe to go with that and notice the box is bigger than it used to be they've made it bigger and they give you a little thank you note in there with a little discount and yeah so this was for May 2020 inspiration box and let's see our first thing in here we have let's get it. I love how they put it in this new little plastic thing with the label on it so now you can store it that way and keep everything together and little sequins with the teal and the green love it and then oh look at that flare piece oh my goodness how cute little ferris wheel with fireworks and oh my gosh a popcorn die guys it has a popcorn die how awesome and then there is three yards of ribbon one yard each and then there comes with the aqua pigment and cotton candy cloud beautiful 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 color if you go over under the brutus monroe fan club on facebook i posted a thing i made there using that color it's in there you can see that color there oh look they give us saltwater taffy i'll have to try that no i don't think i've ever tried saltwater taffy so then here's the mini stencil and it is a carousel horse. I love carousel horses. Tell me in the comment section if you love carousel horses. Just takes me back to childhood. Good memories from childhood. Not a lot there, but that was one of them. And oh my goodness, popcorn bags. Those would be great for envelopes for slimline cards. And I fold these little packages. I fold the little... glue tab thing back so it doesn't stick when I'm putting things in and pulling them out. And then we have the toner sheets which each design there's two two of each design and there's four designs in the package and they're really cool. Remind you of the fair or boardwalk. Like if you live here in Florida and you've been to the Daytona boardwalk. Some of the things there or if you've been to Jersey Atlantic Beach, I think it is, or Coney Island, or, you know, there, there's so many places here in the United States that, where we have little carnival fairs, or whatever you want to call them, on our boardwalks. That's so cool. And it come, let's get that unrolled and stuck back, that way I can store it in its original stuff. I love the ribbon and the dye. And then we have the paper and the blue glitter stock. And some little tissue papers. Sweet. That'll be cute. I'll have to figure out what to do with that. But nice. Makes me want to put a hot, big, large pretzel in it. <laughs> and then we have the pink, the green, the blue, the yellow, and the purple. All saltwater taffy colors. Yeah. So, and then the three tissue papers. And then, of course, coming up, we have the best for last, which is the stamp set. And so, here we are with the stamp set. How awesome is this? Look at that. Let me take it out of here so you can actually see it. And then I'll get the pink sheet to put behind it so you can actually watch it. And then from this point on, I'm just going to go ahead and let you watch because it's pretty self-explanatory. 
and then there'll be music added as I'm playing around with some of the stamps. Thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Give me a little thumbs up if you like the video. And sorry about the ending. My camera cut off. But hope you enjoy the rest of this video. It's just a quick little what I'm doing.